It's the story that spun around the political world today. Senator Kirsten Sinema of Arizona leaving the Democratic Party and registering as an independent. She made the announcement in an interview with CNN. Sinema didn't say whether she's running for re-election, but she did say she doesn't expect a change in how the Senate operates. Face the Nation host Margaret Brennan joins us live from Washington now. And so, Margaret, this announcement comes just days after the Democrats secured an outright majority in the Senate. Why do you think she decided to leave the Democratic Party now? Well, it's not clear that Senator Sinema will change the way she votes. She says she won't, um, and she's voted with President Biden 90% of the time, but she is signaling here that she's not a guaranteed vote. By changing the Democratic uh, alliance to an independent one for herself, that puts her in a category of Bernie Sanders or Angus King, um, but someone who's not as reliably a, a yes vote uh, when it comes to some of President Biden's priorities. So she may have more sway, but notably, as, as you just pointed out, she waited until after Tuesday when Democrats clinched that 51st vote. So it would be far more consequential if Democrats had lost that runoff race in Georgia. Uh, but they have a bit of, of a cushion there. Mm, interesting. It's going to be interesting to see how it all plays out. I know you'll have a lot of guests on Face the Nation on Sunday. Thank you so much, Margaret. And, of course, you can watch Margaret host Face the Nation Sunday morning at 10.30 on WBZ.